Oh boy. Oh boy. So we've come to the conclusion that this is not going on the base. We all know what it is. If you saw my last video, then this will just go over here somewhere. I've been working on this without filming. I found some crystals that I had. So here's some green crystals. They're screwed in. I got the lights on the bottom. This is the base for the Christmas challenge. It's just some glue on the tip there to protect it. I don't even know where to start. I don't know where to end. But the struggle is real for me, just like all of you people. That gnome is probably too big for this. So I think I do have this piece already kind of blocked out to carve another gnome today. To carve a smaller gnome to go in there instead of that guy. I won't film for that. I already got enough gnome videos. The house is glued on there. It's doweled in. The lights are in there. You can see here, I might have to zoom in, but what I do is I get the five minute epoxy from the dollar store. I mix yellow paint and that yellow paint, the epoxy, when it cures so fast, it burns the yellow paint and it makes it kind of go orange like that. So these lights will look like they're orange. Like um, here's what I did it in so you can see the way it did it. So that was yellow paint, five minute epoxy. It burns the paint, I guess it does, or something, something reacts and it makes it go that color. So there is lights behind there. Did I say these crystals? These are crystals that I had lying around. I gotta start using some of my old stuff up. I just got, <clears throat> excuse me, I just got too much stuff here. Um, this gnome's gonna go here. These trees have lights in them. They're wired. I'll talk about that in a second. All these, oh, here's a midget snowman for the front of it. So this is gonna be Mushrooms. I'm going to put the mushrooms on here with lights in them. Okay, so we mushroom there, mushroom here. It's going to be a mushroom Christmas. It's mushroom North Pole. So these lights, this is another story. So these Christmas lights that I use, the LEDs, you know, I couldn't find any lights with, that are longer between the strands of lights. So I had to make, because... This base here, I hollowed out the back a bit with chainsaw, but I was too lazy, and I only hollowed about that much in the back. But So there's so much board there. The strings of these Christmas lights, the wires in between each light were not long enough. Okay? Does that make sense to you? So I had to extend each and every light. And there's, there's like... I had to do the trees. I had to extend everything. I had to do like seven of them. So each one has four extenders. See that? Let's, let me slow down here and show you guys that. So that was painstaking brutal to do. You got, you got the, I'll show you what they are. I've showed them on other videos. Do you want to take a screenshot? Five, four, three, two, one. They're little things where you use a heat gun or a lighter and they sh they got like a, the solder inside there. So you just heat it up with a lighter or a heat gun and it will solder the wires together, these things. So I also got the, these, these are the savior. These are like little wire strippers and they pull the little tips off. These are on Amazon. I bought these um, uh, this year ready for the Christmas challenge knowing that, um, but yeah, they work for super small that's hot glue on there looks like something else they they work for super small um wires so if you want to take a screenshot five like i said they're on amazon they're cheap five four three two one i think they might be in my amazon store but but these are a, a life savior and they strip the end of the wire so what i gotta do is i gotta go along and wire in these mushrooms I'm not going to, I'm going to try and, let's see if we can do this here. Just to show you guys, and I probably got to carve another gnome, just to show you underneath the wires, the nightmare that I got. This is, I'm not, like I said, I'm no Bobby Duke, but you see, then once all those wires are in there, all the things are in there, then I have to connect all these wires 
like and keep a solid circuit going yep so that's that so this is a lot of work because I was lazy and I didn't take I didn't make the th this board thin in here so the wires anyways I got to do that and I won't bore you guys with doing that so all the, after this shot here you can see all the mushrooms are going to be in place with the lights in them yeah okay I think I got everything covered here everything's covered so as just carved Rob would say this is the electrical nightmare but it's done I've got it all done I've had to keep this uh, battery pack hooked up to it so I can um, tell which which is the right circuit and stuff like that so it's all done all I need to do is just kind of tuck these in and glue these down fold them up and stuff like that I just want to take a second to talk about the challenge and everybody that's doing awesome work on it. Some people are sending me emails and Facebook messages asking me if they can send me their pictures for the challenge. I can't save the pictures yet. You guys are doing awesome, awesome jobs and I love all the different uh, imaginations that's going on. I'll make posts on, on YouTube and Facebook in the, group, uh, in the groups on Facebook. I'll make posts saying calling all pictures and stuff like that. And also, there's a, I think there's like 15 prizes to be won. So if anybody wants to chip in for the challenge too, there's extra prizes for people that chip in. Um, there's going to be a Ram microcarver uh, that um, Maish uh, donated. Um, David Grass donated a uh, Dremel 4000. And I got like a... 14 or 15 carvings that um, I've donated. So my PayPal will be listed below. Anybody that wants to chip in to win an extra, have an extra chance to win a prize. No, you do not have to chip in to be entered into this contest. This not contest challenge. You don't you don't have to be chip. You don't have to chip in. There's prizes for people that just to do the challenge. Just do it. So I'll make postings on all that stuff uh, so everybody won't miss a chance to um, get their picture on the video and have a chance to win a prize okay not too bad if i say so myself just gotta get this last one glued in and uh transfer the power from the battery pack over to the plug-in power to the wall okay just for the record uh i got the power that's uh just plug it into the it's plugged into the wall over there but i want to be clear on something like um don't burn your house down or kill yourself dealing with electrical stuff i think when you're dealing with the battery stuff it's okay this is only three volts but make sure you get the right stuff like don't kill yourself or catch your house on fire on my on what i'm doing here uh, i got tons of uh millions of years experience dealing with um this kind of stuff when i was a kid uh, um sticking my finger in light bulb sockets many many of times all right, so here's the plug-in. I'd just like to take a second here and, um, fuck, fucks. Dirty fucking bastards. So here's your plug-in. I'd just like to take a second to thank the Lord for letting me done be done that wiring because, well, it was a friggin' nightmare and I got it done and thank you lord so i picked up this little uh this is a hobby heat gun it's pretty good actually um it's a lot better than holding the bigger heat gun so i'm gonna go around and uh because i got all the glue gun little street stringy things I'm gonna go around and melt those right now and then uh Yeah, so this thing's this little heat gun's great. It's gonna work good for epoxy. <laughs> if uh, anybody wants to know the name of this heat gun, here's a screenshot of it. I'll put a link to it uh, listed below. But it's pretty uh, crafty. It's got great Amazon reviews. I think. I think it does. But uh, take a screenshot. Three, two, one, and uh, yeah, it works pretty wicked. So, anyways. So we need to place the characters. I've changed my mind once again. The little snowman. Yes, I know he's. This is the midget snowman. I know he needs arms. I'm going to put him back there. That's where he's going to go. This gnome 
is going to go here. I'm going to keep this gnome in here. I like it. I'm going to put that big, big bad boy right back there. I like it. I might carve. I still got this. If I can get to it tomorrow, I might carve another gnome and put this one in, instead of this one because this isn't the best gnome I've, I've ever done. It's not bad. It's still a gnome. A gnome's a gnome. Look at this one. Look at the size of this one's honker. A gnome's a gnome. So that's that. I want to sit back for a minute here and talk and... Um, I just want to say, like, for all you beginning artists and stuff like that, I'm a, I'll am never be a professional artist. I'll never be a professional anything. I'm just a fat guy with a hole in his head having a good time. You know, and if I can motivate you guys to do something, to have a good time, and if you got problems in your life or if you're dealing with injuries or whatever, find a passion, find a hobby. It will really change your life. Um, it's changed mine. Um, I was stressed out about the wiring and all this stuff. That's done. I've, I did it. I'm proud of myself. Now it's time to have fun. And you guys doing it, you don't have to have lights in your thing. You know, you can get the little light packs at um, Walmart or a dollar store. You do not have to have lights in your base. All you have to do is carve a Santa gnome, a snowman, a tree, have it on a base, who knows? Carve some little presents. I still have room to carve stuff and put stuff here. I don't want to have it too full. So just have fun. And that's what it's about. And anybody can enter this challenge. I know it's getting close to Chris. What is it? November 2nd today. I forget the dates for the shut off. I think it's the day before Christmas Eve or something. This is the final day you can do it. So let's end this video here. The next video we can have fun. Um, I won't film if I carve this gnome or not. I might do that right away because you have to paint it in different stages because you got the white, the red, then the white, and the black. But um, let's do the snow. Let's have some fun. It's time to have some fun. So we'll get the snow on here. We'll uh, maybe carve some little square presents, paint them, make them fruity sparkly for the Christmas lady, crazy Christmas ladies, and have a good time. So the next video... We'll be doing the snow, which I've made videos. Everything about this challenge is in a playlist down below. And um, don't forget, if you want a chance to win a prize, one of my carvings, uh, my PayPal is listed below. I'm not a used car salesman, only sometimes. Well, anyways, that's it, everybody. The next one will be snow and having fun.